very good to be out driving again. The brakes really don't like it. Ooh, that's a typical. Good car, nice Kia, good Kia. I was requested by the person in charge for handing me the car over from the PR department of Kia to give it some strokes, some pets. I think that's a better convenient word because we're communicating in German. So he asked me to pet the car because actually, as a matter of fact, this Stinger GT is press car of Kia. And I believe end of last year, they already wanted to get rid of it because the car is not being sold anymore. So it makes no sense to keep the car in the PR fleet of Kia, but they really wanted me to drive it and they kept it throughout the winter for the last couple of months in their fleet. So now I could go out with it for, well, for a lap, maybe two. They allowed me to do two, but I actually uh, did one. So yeah, amazing car. As far as I remember, again, I'm not a real car guy. I read the brochures sometimes, I check the facts. Most importantly, it has a twin turbocharged V6, 3.3 liters. It produces 366 horsepower, uh, 510 Newton meters of torque, which makes it relatively fast. But most importantly, again, as far as I can remember, I think this was one of the first babies of Albert Biermann the ex-engineer, you don't even need to call them ex-engineer of BMW M because the things that he has done in the last almost 10 years at Hyundai, Hyundai N department, and also special cars for Kia, it's extremely impressive. But I believe this was one of his first projects that really put Kia on the map as a performance brand and also its sister company, uh, Hyundai. So yeah, what can I say? It looks good. I actually took it also for some just like, uh, I wouldn't say back roads, but simply day-to-day -day driving to go to the restaurants, etc. And it's very comfortable. Also plenty of very good, lots of convenient tech, such as like side cameras when you turn into the left, etc. Can we look on the inside? I need to grab the key actually. Let's, let me quickly grab that. I grabbed two keys actually, because as you can see, I also have the EV6 GT here that you already probably have seen. But more importantly for me, when I received the cars, I kind of mixed up the keys and I thought like, okay, the newer car must have the fancier key. So with leather and some nicer buttons, but nope, actually this fancy key with leather and fancier buttons belongs to the older Stinger GT. Whereas the EV6 GT has this, well, Simple plastic, it's still okay, still has like this, but it's completely different. It's quite an interesting, noticeable difference. Anyway, let's have a look inside what I want to show you when it comes to the comfort. Um, yeah, it has everything you would want, digital display, um, it has like well, nice display over there that shows you also the rear view camera. Regarding the gearbox, it's a eight speed, I think torque converter. You have pedal shifts of course, and they are fast actually. It's, uh, it does the job nicely. So yeah, on the back seat, you also have some space, also nice leather, etc. Full of safety features, also tweeters in the rear with normal speakers, maybe extra speakers even, I don't know. Uh, but very comfortable daily car. And now go have a look how the car actually drives on the ring. No soft close. getting dark already so I hope it's I hope you'll be able to see stuff on camera worst case we'll have to repeat one more time tomorrow or something um, the water temperature is not like not hitting 90 I don't know if that's supposed to be because the car has been like warming up for quite some time uh, we'll see how it behaves towards the middle or the end of the lap because it should be warm oil is almost at 100 so let's proceed we're driving in sport plus mode so um, yeah let's see how it goes very good so far gonna hit 200 before the compression probably most likely uh, exactly 200 in the compression so that's good uh, all the warning systems the traffic but actually the funny thing is when I look today at the specs I said for some reason to it's inside of the Vulcan Alpha when we were talking about it I said okay 
it's like 450 horsepower. Really? I'm like, yeah, I think so. And then I looked actually at the spec sheet on the interwebs, it was just 360 or so. So it made me believe to be more than it actually is. But uh, yeah. The handling is very nice, it allows you to dance quite nicely. I have to remind myself that today, right now, it's very cold, it's below 10 degrees, especially right now, so the tires don't really work because it should be really from 10 on where it would be start working, the ABS kicking in completely. So, watching out for some oil spills here. Spec car 
because the tail lights are red. And judging by the Wiesbaden license plate, it's probably airbase registered from one of the military. Oh, uh, looks like they redone the safety pocket on the right over winter maybe and notice the earlier cobblestones. Gonna be smooth for now. So not completely 100% sold on the brakes. The tires start to understeer a bit because they're getting warm now. Probably towards 3 bar or so. be almost 10 year old close to it definitely it was like maybe 2015 16 insert the actual uh, time here um, and for that the handling is amazing let's go cool down the brakes and then I think we're done for today uh, I believe I want to shoot one more extra outro because the lab that you seen I drove yesterday at the end of the day after having quite a hectic first day of TF of public sessions uh, we had lots of food going on in our shop we had also lots of laps to drive to edit to publish on the same day so I was to be honest quite exhausted you could probably see my emotionless drive but even though the drive was maybe emotionless from me trying to talk to you to tell you what I'm feeling as far as I remember the drive actually was really, really good. The way the car handles is really sublime. Again, referring to the work that Albert Biermann has done together with his engineers. Back then, everyone was praising this car back then. I believe they released it in 2017. And actually, the first time I drove it was a test mule prototype for ADAS system of Riemann's Automobili back in 2019, actually, when I was working there, yeah. Uh, 
we're doing some crazy stuff I think maybe I'll link a video in the video description you can also see me drive it um, yeah it was quite nice but yeah going back to the fact actually driving it it was so easy because I still don't really well, I would say remember the track it would be crazy to say but I'm getting used to the performance driving so still getting into it and it was super easy really easy like again the only thing that I would quotation mark maybe I wouldn't say complain about is like more or less lack of braking performance but yeah for stock pads even today's super sports cars they lack in braking performance unfortunately because um, because reasons many many reasons but for daily use very comfortable very beautiful especially in this color I'm not sure if I ever seen such one most of the time they're like some red or white but this is like beautiful green with like bronze-ish accents I like it so yeah overall really love the car even though it's I think all will drive uh, it makes itself turn in very nicely very easily very good job um, so yeah that's kind of all I want to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video one more time thank you Kia for allowing me to drive your baby and also the other baby maybe you have some other babies in store coming up yep uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I already said that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and If you did let me know what you think of it And maybe some owners of Kia's of Stinger GT's can also share their thoughts in the comments below Yeah, we would we'll love to hear those what you think of it as an actual owner on daily use and if you actually like Kia I also drove the Pro C GT today with some mods on it So that for that subscribe like and share and now really thanks for watching and bye